Oh, didn't see you there. I'm Ludwig von Beethoven. Now, while I'm sure you must know me because of the whole, you know, greatest composer on earth thing, I guess I must offer you some sort of background to who I am. I am Ludwig von Beethoven, one of the greatest composers of all time, who's composed such works as Symphony No. 9, Moonlight Sonata, and Misa Solemnist, all while mostly or completely deaf. It took a real musical genius and craftsmanship to be able to do it. Now, I try to be humble about it, but... It's hard not to brag. Ah, yes, and here you see me training one of my many students, a flute player, actually. This is how I gained most of my income in my teen years. Hmm, it is also very important to note that I'm completely deaf here. Many people have asked me over the years how I have been able to become such a renowned and celebrated musician when I was so hard of hearing. Well, the answer is good vibrations. <laughs> That's a joke from a song that doesn't exist yet. Well, anyway, I can feel the vibrations through the many different instruments I play, and it allows me to be so successful in musicianship as I am currently and will always no be known to be. Here you can see me playing the uh, string bass, and because I am so successful in it, I soon became comfortable in my, s in my own abilities and my students' abilities to be able to compose a full-on concerto with that flute player you saw earlier. In a bit, you'll be able to see us play together. Yes, I am still very deaf. But even with all my renowned success, I came to a point where I was at a standstill. I had no idea what to compose next. How could I remain successful in the ever-changing world of music? It bothered me for the longest time what I should do. <laughs> It offered great frustration that, finally, for the first time in my life, I had, I guess, composer's block. I didn't know what to write. How would I t remain relevant and successful if I couldn't even think of anything else to write? It frustrated me so much that I forgot how to take off my scarf. What was I to do? Nothing I wrote seemed to offer me any success. On several occasions, I sat in the middle of long hallways ripping up my incomplete compositions. I was nearing the end of my life, and I couldn't offer the people of Vienna or the musical community at large anything new. Until... It came to me. I knew what I must do. I was going to write my last and final symphony. It would be an example of the work I had done my entire life thus far. It would be the greatest music ever heard. Lying on my deathbed, I was content in the fact that I had finally completed my life's work. 
I was happy in the fact that I gave my community something they could be proud of, a symphony that would be worth listening to for generations after my death. This is Ludwig von Beethoven. Thank <laughs> you.